Hello there. Hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. <laughs> Welcome to Alchemy with Grace. I'm Grace Hom. And we are continuing on this series we've been working on for the last couple months. So this is part five of Energetic Support for Chronic Illnesses. And since it's part five, I thought it would be great today to just start working on things. Uh, I'm moving around. Working on things on a cellular level, an emo well, we're always working on things at an emotional level, but yeah, it's gonna be really amazing to work on things on a cellular level as well. So, hello everyone, thank you for being here. So, before we get started, what I'm gonna do is connect with all of you if you give me permission and. As I'm connecting with all of you and including you in this energy field for healing, we're also going to, um, well, how can we not do this? I, I just feel su such a need uh, <laughs> to interfere with politics, as some people say, or to contribute to other people so i i i know someone's gonna call me out on this that i'm interfering with politics that if i am evolved enough i will be able to see that everything is beautiful and perfect and don't need my healing or interference none of those people on this call thank god because i am going to do something that seems political, but to me, it's just so freaking human. And that is to respond to the crisis of the children. Okay, okay. <laughs> the children, through no fault of their own, who have to be uh, suffering so much. So, okay. So you all know what I mean, because, um, yeah. Oh, God. So, and in doing this session for all of you, I know many of you are also healers. And so, we're going to just extend this energy bubble to include all the children and their families. I don't care about what politics you're into, but I care that we create a politics of compassion that includes everyone and that takes care of the most vulnerable people. And that's the children caught in all this border politics. So we're going to extend this energy field to include all the children and their families because as we all know it's all the unresolved trauma of childhood that creates or that predisposes some of us to chronic illnesses later on in life so how can we not include children who are in this situation now through no fault of their own right yeah, so let's continue to extend this bubble of energy, this energy field where we co-create miracles with each other, for each other. And if you can, and I know that many of you do surrogation work, and I'm totally doing surrogation work with all the children right now. So let's do that if it feels safe for you to be a surrogate for them. You can be a surrogate for them. If it feels safe for you to just send healing energy their way, just send healing energy their way. If it feels safe for you to just be saying a prayer for them at this time, pray for their strength, their resilience, pray that they're so connected to their own, to the source within and to the source above that they will find the resources, the resilience, to stay strong and healthy through it all. 
because this craziness is not a fault of theirs. Okay. And as you all know, in helping and healing other children, we are also helping and healing the child within ourselves. And it's, again, the child within ourselves who's holding on to unresolved trauma, right? So all the unresolved trauma that comes from abandonment, fear of abandonment that's going on now, or real abandonment. Oh, let's release all that now. Oh. And all the energy within ourselves and within this field of consciousness that we're working with that contains any and all trauma of all kinds. We're going to just release this from a cellular level. Oh. 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 Okay. And since this energy is growing strong and vibrant, and I know that many of you who are here have worked with me through the Akashic Records before. So if you're listening to this on a replay, or if you're watching and tuning into this while driving, please don't because once you're in the Akashic Records, you may feel sleepy. It's really hard to stay awake when you're in the Akashic Records. So I just want you to be aware of that and not do anything that requires concentration, anything that requires your full attention. It's really tough to do once we open the Akashic Records, okay? So. And so now, if you choose, if you give me permission, everyone, I'd be happy to uh, work this whole session from that space with all of you. So just let me know by putting in yes, so that I know that you're with me and that you have complete choice at any moment, what you choose to receive or not, you have complete choice. So thank you for telling me yes. Those of you who tell me yes, so, okay, there we go. Their guides and angels, their loved ones and keepers of the Akashic Record, please bless this session with love and light. Empower each and every one of us to see, perceive, and receive the highest truth. Empower us to embody and act from a space of love and help us to do only that which love itself would do. Great, so thank you for all the yeses. So now let's go into the places and spaces oh. Well, oh. all the places and spaces that are filled with fear and separation and abandonment. And that includes where we abandon ourselves, where we abandon our dreams, where we abandon our own needs. So release all that. Oh. Oh. So where have you abandoned your own joy and given up on being as joyful as you can be? 
a lot of places and spaces where you give it up on your joy. <sighs> and everything that was going on in your life at that time that got you to somehow give up on your joy, whether that was a conscious choice, a subconscious choice, so all the hidden conscious and subconsciousness going along with that choice. Let's release all that now. <sighs> and so as you all know, giving up, abandoning your own joy also means that you give up being a high vibration being. And we give up being high vibration when we think that by being that, someone we're going to be abandoned somehow so that means you're choosing and trained to people around you who are of a lower vibration and sometimes for some of us giving up old joy just isn't enough we also need to have a chronic illness to go along with that to keep our energy down in order to stabilize a certain family configuration, a certain family constellation, a certain relationship configuration. Yeah, so let's dismantle and disentangle from all that. And that's all the hidden loyalties to one or both parent or grandparent, or to your ancestors, or to um, the spiritual group that you're in, whatever group of people feels most important to you and to your definition of yourself, that's the group that has your puppet strings. So let's let all that go. Oh. <sighs> and any of those choices that were made even before you came into this life, so all the past lives, where you already feel like, oh, you got to give up being you. So all these patterns from all past lives, I'm going to go into our collective unconscious record. Oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my. <coughs> All right. Oh. Oh. So many of you who have the role and buy into the definition for so long that you're supposed to be the black sheep of the family, the black sheep of your group, the black sheep of this, the black sheep of that, the one who's left out, the one who is different, the one who is weird, the one who is unacceptable, blah, blah, blah. All those definitions of you choosing to define yourself by being an outsider by already allowing this fear of abandonment to create that pattern. Let's release all that. <sighs> right, because if you deep, um, buy into that you're a black sheep of a family, you're already saying, this relationship is defined by the fact that you are unacceptable to this group, right? So, every, so whatever the reasons are, conscious, subconscious reasons for buying into that, for staying in that energy field, let's disentangle from that energy field of you being a black sheep. 
<sighs> and the family constellation that you're holding together by creating and buying into that definition of you, let's release all that. Oh. <sighs> and then having to give up and abandon your heart, your joy, your creative potential, your full potential as a human being, just to fit into all kinds of limiting definitions that actually serve to hold a certain system in place, whether that's the cultural system you're in, the religious system, the spiritual system, whatever system you're in that's creating you to hold on to that definition of you, that limits you, that puts you in pain, puts you in a place of so much suffering. Oh, what if? Oh, oh. What if you no longer need to abandon your own joy? So, how many energy patterns are keeping that in place? And let's disentangle from all that now. Oh. Oh. And then some of us have this thought that if I allow myself to be the one to get abused, if I allow myself to be one to get sick, that may keep other people from suffering from being the one who gets abused, from being the one who gets sick, from being the one who gets this, this, and that. So somehow, if you bought into that belief system, subconsciously, consciously, subconsciously, like to release that, uh, to release yourself. Oh, how do you abandon your own truth, your own joy, your own happiness? So now what if embracing your joy and your own awareness is the most amazing thing you can do for you and for everyone? So let's have you do that. <sighs> and anything that's keeping you from fully embodying your joy and creating more joy, embodying your potential, your potency, Anything that keeps you from embodying all that, let's release that. Oh. And all the hidden loyalties that makes you subconsciously, unconsciously keep on choosing, abandoning yourself, abandoning your happiness, abandoning your body, your health, your joy. <sighs> and what else is going on are the known and unknown factors that keep you in this space of abandoning yourself, your health, your joy, your life. So any and all non-life enhancing belief systems that you think you need, let's release all that. They serve their purpose. They serve the purpose to keep you safe. Oh. And in all the subconscious places and spaces where you actually do want to just abandon yourself because somehow you feel like sometimes you have the thought that you'd rather not be here, that is, you'd rather not be on this planet. 
and, and it's okay to have that thought once in a while because this is a crazy place to be. But if you really have deep down a death wish that's actually creating a slow death through chronic illness or chronic pain, let's release all the subconscious and hidden pattern of <sighs> yeah, so everywhere where you're still actually choosing a slow death for whatever reason, and this almost always has some past life issues to go with that, right? So all the past life, unresolved, repressed, unexpressed issues, all the abuse you have been through in this life that makes you want to just not be here anymore. Yeah, let's release that. Oh. Oh. And it's totally okay to be honest about that because many of us who have chronic illnesses have been through horrendous abuse whether it's physical, emotional, or verbal, that is so crazy. And there's so much shame attached to it that even asking for help is hard because the energy of shame is such a low vibration that it keeps us from getting the help we need. And it keeps this shame, this all these uh, illnesses, all these chronic conditions in place. So all the shame about feeling like a failure, feeling like giving up, feeling like not being here anymore, choosing a way out. And subconsciously, you are actively choosing a way out through um, chronic illness. So. <sighs> And please just be gentle with yourself because, because there are real legitimate reasons for why people have these choices, whether it's conscious or subconscious, for choosing not to be here. Because if you think that you're going to be going through abuse and abuse and abuse and abuse, days and days of more pain and more pain and more pain and more suffering, right? Sometimes that takes away the will to live and, and, and that's not your fault. <sighs> and however those negative experiences are wired in us, let's just ask the universe to give you the energy now to resolve, uncreate, all the hot wiring for suffering. Let's release that now, especially from the amygdala, from the kind of survival brain. And however these experiences are locked into your neurology and to your enteric nervous system, that's your guts. We're gonna release all that. <sighs> so all the fascia in the body that holds those cellular memories, we're going to release all that. <sighs> all the muscles and bones and ligaments that hold, this mem hold those memories. Oh. Oh. <sighs> and this is usually in our first three chakras, right? So how you feel about yourself, the, you know, being punched at the gut level sort of a feeling, being sucker punched over and over, 
if you are in an abusive relationship, you get gaslighted, you get sucker punched over and over and over and over. Your sense of self in the very core of your being gets destroyed. And that's why being gaslighted is so painful. So let's release all that from the very core of your being. Oh. 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 And then everything having to do with all past lives are unresolved, unexpressed, repressed issues from all past lives that kind of allow for this energy of shame and guilt and pain to just become overwhelming. Let's release all that. Oh. 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 Excuse me. I like to say I just exhale all past lives, but I wish it was that simple. <laughs> Of only my exhale was that powerful. <laughs> oh. And so this part I absolutely want everyone to have consciously, subconsciously, in every way. So wherever you are right now. I really want you to be able to say and really know, I choose to live and thrive and be an awesome success in my life. So I'm gonna uh, actually type this in. I choose to live, thrive, and be an awesome success in life. There you go. I just typed that in. Okay, and I want you to say that out loud. I choose to live, thrive, and be an awesome success in life. <sighs> and say that out loud. So every place where you are not yet congruent with choosing to live, to thrive, and to be the most awesome success you can be in life. Going to release all of that it's holding you back from making this a reality for you. So I need you to say this out loud, wherever you are, and, and really hear in your voice and really say this so that I can tune into where you're still blocked. Say, I choose to live, thrive, and be an awesome, amazing success in life. Oh. Oh. And I really, really want to be sure that this is hardwired in your brain as well as in your energy field. To really know that I we hardwire heart this, I want you to say this out loud again. I choose to live, thrive, and be an amazing, awesome success in life. And then do a figure eight with your eyes. Then so you're gonna look up to the left corner, look down, and look to the right, upper right corner, look down to the lower right corner and look back up to the left. So let's do that again. Say out loud, I choose to live and thrive and be an awesome, amazing success in life. Upper left corner, 
lower left corner, upper right, lower right, back to the left. So there was one direction, whether it's the upper left, lower left, upper right, lower right, back to the upper left. There was one direction. Yeah, that was probably like, oh, uh, you feel like something is pulling you back and you just can't go there for some of you. Whatever that direction is right now, say the statement out loud. I choose to live, thrive, and be an awesome success in life. And now do the figure eight again, your eyes. Now notice which direction was really hard for you. Look at that direction now so that I can clear whatever is blocking that part of the brain from receiving and hearing and allowing you to hardwire this energy pattern of choosing to live, to thrive, and be an amazing, awesome success in life. Oh. So I'm clearing for you all, whatever that direction may be for you, for some of you, may just be the upper uh, left-hand corner. For some of you, the lower left-hand corner. Some of you, the upper right-hand corner. Oh. oh, it feels like, yeah, there you go. And for others of you, it's the lower right-hand corner. Oh. And they represent different parts of your brain. And those parts that are fighting this program, thank those parts for allowing you to know that because they are giving you the key to unlock a greater, greater potential. Oh. Now you have the key and the lock. And unlock all that. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Feeling better, right? So now again, let's say out loud again. I choose to live, thrive, and be an awesome success in life. So now, upper left corner, lower left corner, upper right corner, lower right corner, upper left. Yeah, and you cannot do it wrong. There's no wrong. You're making a figure eight with your eyes so that we can see what part of the brain is resisting this change. That part gives you the key to unlock your full potential and allow you to access a whole brain state that allows the subconscious, the conscious, the mind, the spirit, the body to all come into alignment. Yeah. So any residues from this, any resistance, residues of resi resistance to choosing this, so all the subconscious hidden resistance to choosing to live, to thrive, and to be the most awesome, amazing success you can be in life. Oh, that's really all hit and subconscious resistance. Oh. And let me know how it feels in the comment section. If you're able to comment, let me know if that's getting better and better. Oh.
So let's do this one last time. Say, I choose to live, thrive, and be an awesome success in life. And now do you figure it? Upper left, lower left, upper right, lower right, back to upper left. Whew. Okay. And how's everybody feeling right now? Okay. Okay. Okay, some of you have no struggles and some of you still feel stuckness. Okay, let me clear any and all conscious, subconscious stuckness. So whatever direction feels like it's a place of stuckness for you, um, look in that direction now. And I'm going to clear all the subconscious stuff. Oh. <sighs> oh. <sighs> 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 Just doing this figure eight, what your what your eyes, your eyes are so connected to your brain, your optic nerves, your whole body, because your eyes work with how you think up here and it affects your whole body's movement. So so it's such a, a connecting point between spirit, the, the mental and the physical, the spiritual and the physical, and we want to always bring things back to the body, how the body is doing. Is the body getting it? Forget the mind. The mind can mess us up badly, but is your body getting it? Yeah. <sighs> so for those of you who are really stuck, this is perfect because it allows us to know the key, the key that's going to allow you to really access your greater potential for health, for happiness, for joy, for creating everything in your life, right? So if you're really stuck and really feeling tension in your body, wherever you're stuck, let me, let's clear another layer of all that for you. <sighs> And good for you for really doing it and not just going through the motion, right? Good for you for being so engaged with this that you know what attention is, that you know it's stuck, that you know you are really going to be able to unlock whatever is sticking you, that you're really just going to be able to unlock this. Because even though it's one simple statement, but this one simple statement, I choose to live, I choose to thrive, I choose to be an awesome, amazing success. That unlocks a lot. <sighs> and if we really work with the brain, the body, on unlocking all this, It's going to really change a lot of things. <sighs> right. Yeah, so you may be feeling more pain in some parts of the body as this unlocking of whatever's going on. Right? So let's take a moment and do the statement out loud in the figure eight again so we can really get into this. Okay. I choose to live. I choose to thrive. I choose to be an awesome, awesome, amazing success in life in every way. 
<sighs> Take away, upper left, lower left, upper right, lower right, back to upper left. <sighs> and allow yourself to do another figure eight. Upper left, lower left, upper right, lower right, upper left. <sighs> and some of you may require allowing your body to move like my neck just crack. And also move at your hips because there's a lot of energy going on him. <sighs> so wherever, whatever parts of your brain that's locking this up, we're gonna do some more work on that. And the old wiring, however it's wired in your brain, we're gonna continue to dissolve those old wirings that hold on to memories that lock in the opposite of this, right? So everywhere in your brain where you're still holding on to anything that stresses you, oh, oh. I don't know. I don't know if you're able to say at the same time that you're moving, you're doing your eye movements. I suppose you could. So let's try it. I choose to live and thrive and be an amazing success in life. Oh, I guess I could. <laughs> oh, okay. So, so say and do at the same time and see what happens. <sighs> because just finally allowing a statement I choose to live to be powerfully programming you. All the energy patterns, all the belief systems, all the memories, all the traumas that are not in alignment with choosing to live, those have to be dissolved and released. <sighs> right those have to dissolve and be released. And that's, for some of you, that's a whole lifetime of negative programming we are asking to, we, to let go and release from your body. And that allows you to finally have the keys to health, to wholeness, to joy, to vitality. <sighs> So we are going to take the time to make sure for each and every one of you on the call, each and every one of you listening to this on a replay, we're going to make very sure that this is truly done, done, a done deal, and not going through the motions and not getting over it just to get over it, but to get through it so that it's a done deal by getting through, not bypassing. <sighs> so I appreciate all those of you who are letting me know that this tension and, and that <laughs> tension with the eyes, tension with the body, right? Because that allows us to know you are really getting into this with your whole mind, body, spirit, we are not bypassing anything. And that's so important to know. We are not here to bypass anything. We are here to work things through and through and be thorough about it. It matters 
then it's thoroughly done and it's a done deal, right? <sighs> okay, so let's do this one more time, say it out loud. I choose to live and thrive and be an amazing success. Great. Oh. And any and all resistance to that on any level of your being, conscious, subconscious, hidden, oh. in all lifetimes, and any and all hidden loyalties will now totally just be gone, <laughs> dissolve, release to the light, transformed by the life for all of eternity, cleared by the life for all of eternity, transformed by the life for all of eternity. Oh. So let me know in the comment section, everyone, is this a done deal for you? So let's do this. I choose to live and thrive and be an amazing, awesome success in life. And do the figure eight with your eyes. <sighs> so those of you who still need some work, let's give you some. <sighs> And actually, I'm going to close the Akashic Records because I want you to do this in, in your everyday energy field so that in your everyday life, I know you have this not only in this space of no time and whatever, but I want you to have it in everyday time and in, in, in our everyday reality. So we're going to do this again and after I close the Akashic Records. <sighs> So thank you guys and angels, loved ones, and keepers of the Akashic Records. Thank you, Lady Akasha and all Ascended Masters for blessing this session for everyone on the call, everyone on the replay, with love and light, for blessing us with the ability to see, perceive, and know from a place of love, the highest truth. Thank you. And the Akashic Records are now closed. And the Akashic Records are now closed. <sighs> and the Akashic Records are now closed. <sighs> and if you are doing surrogation work for anyone, for any group of people, or any energy field, now is the time to release and clear that too. And let it go. <sighs> any residual energies you may be picking up on from anyone in this session on replays right now on future sessions. Let go of all that, release all that. <sighs> Let's clear the energy of anyone and everyone, any group and every group you're doing surrogation for. <sighs> hmm. And really take a few deep breaths. <sighs> So now we're going to check to be sure that the programming we did, when it worked in a high vibration energy field like the Akashic Records, we really want to be able to embody this in your everyday life, in, in the everyday energy of the world, that 
you have that confidence about about that working for you in your everyday life because that's where um that's where things get played out right that's where things get played out in, in your everyday life so connect with your everyday life your everyday reality because sometimes when we do subconscious programming like that and it all works beautifully beautifully when we're in high vibration energy when you bring yourself back to your everyday life and <laughs> like family dinners and family gatherings <laughs> going back to work on a monday morning those are like the final exam for how well we've done with the subconscious programming <laughs> and i want you to bring in that energy because i want to be sure that this programming works not only in the safe space we create for each other because how often are we in this safe space and and i would like for all of us to be able to carry the energy of this beautiful space into our everyday lives But how we how is that? <laughs> right? <laughs> so that's the step that I, I think that um, many people who do this work, they don't get. And it took me a long time to know that in my own safe space when I'm doing subconscious programming <laughs> by the end of the session I feel like yeah here I come world Wonder Woman me yeah <laughs> and then when it comes to dealing with oh god talking to your ex <laughs> confronting friends blah 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 frenemies or what have you when everyday reality comes back, where's your energy? And that's where we need to feel super confident, right? Where you interact with the, real, with the everyday reality of life. Is that subconscious programming holding holding water is it able to hold water in, in your everyday life so now just bring in the energy of a one difficult person who's really tough fucking tough for you to confront who just denigrates you puts you down in front of that asshole are you still able to be an energy of I choose to fucking live and thrive and be my most fucking awesome self and no matter what, no matter who I'm around, no matter who's fucking with me, no matter what's going on, I'm still able to choose that and be that. So now that I just ruined everything for you, <laughs> bringing in the energy of whatever really sucks for you to feel, bring that in. So now say, I choose to live, thrive, and be an awesome success in life. And now do the figure eight with your eyes. Upper left, lower left, upper right, lower right, upper left. Oh, that wasn't so bad. Let me do that again. I choose to live and thrive and be an awesome, amazing success. Upper left, lower left, upper right, lower right. I choose to live, thrive, and be an awesome, amazing success. Choose to live, thrive, and be an awesome, amazing success in life. Oh, and any and all resistance to that, let's release all that. So that's like, so how is that feeling for you when you pull in the energy of everyday life? Is that belief still able to hold some water for you? 
because that's where it really matters, right? Because by ourselves and our high vibration space, we feel freaking amazing, awesome. By the end of every session that I do, I feel like I am an incredible freaking superwoman. And in the moment, I have to deal with like an ex, a friend of me, business contracts and what have you. I'm like, oh, Lord. Is this holding water? And that's where it really counts that you know how to reprogram yourself now. So now that you know how, that's awesome. And that lets your whole body in train to really embody this energy field of your own potency, your own power, your own joy. Now you really know you no longer need to abandon your joy. You no longer need to abandon your potency. You no longer need to abandon yourself because you can probe, you can choose what energy you're being at any moment. And the fact that you all can have this even when the most obnoxious person you have to deal with in your life is in your face, if you can still have that, then that's freaking awesome. That's like 20 years of spiritual work working for you in one session. That's awesome, awesome, everybody. <laughs> so I'm so happy that we did this today. I'm so, so, so happy that you did this today. I'm so happy we can come together to do this with one another. And for all those of you who did sur surrogate work, whether it's for a family member or for humanity or for the children who are caught in the politics of our crazy world, however you use this energy, this session, this time, thank you for being you. Thank you for coming together to co-create a whole new world of possibilities because when you choose to embody more of who you are you become this invitation for more people to be who they are so thank you for the amazing invitation that you are that you be thank you for the amazing work uh, that we all just come together to do and i know that whatever we change what an old energy feel we become that tuning fork that allows for more people to also choose amazing healing like this. So yeah, how does it get even better than this? Yes, yes, yes. And for those of you in the US, happy 4th of July, happy summer solstice. And for those of you who are in the Southern Hemisphere, um happy winter solstice <laughs> and all right so let's make sure that you are back in your everyday energy field before you drive or do anything and many blessings to you have a fantastic weekend everyone bye bye